would say, Chantel, it's a very warm welcome to you to the Fitness Business Podcast as a guest. How are you feeling? I am so excited and it's kind of a little bit weird being on this side of the microphone. I've got to be completely honest. I feel like I don't have any control. You are in charge today, so uh, I'll just let you run the show. Well, I am going to turn the heat up on you, baby, This <laughs> in this interview. We are going to crank it right up and give our FBP family heaps of value out of today's show. Now, as of November, when we're recording this, 2019, uh, we've, you've been hosting the podcast since day one, over 260 shows, and the FBP want to know some of these behind-the-scenes bits of information. So unbeknown to you, I have actually gone out to our FBP family and here are some things that they want to know. Your chance to dish the dirt. Who was the funniest guest you have ever interviewed? Oh, this is going to be a lot of fun. So uh, if I had to say the funniest guest would be Amanda Bond. So Amanda Bond, I didn't know her before we first did the interview and I had done some research, but just to paint a picture for everyone, and I'm sure Amanda won't mind me sharing this, um, when we did her first interview, and she's been on the show twice, she rocked up um, with a glass of wine and <laughs> anyone that has heard Amanda or that knows Amanda or has seen her speak, she swears like a trooper. And so she was just so natural, hilariously funny, um, so much fun and just tells it like it is. So I would have to put her at the top of my list for the funniest ever guest. And if anyone missed it, show 200 is the one to check out on that one. Okay, next question. Who were you most nervous to interview? Ooh, this is a really good one. And there is one person who is absolutely the standout for this and that's Rick Caro. So uh, Rick, when I went into the interview, I mean, he is just the most amazing man, incredibly experienced. I think he's been in the industry for something like 46 years. And I just have so much respect for him. And I didn't, I didn't want to say anything wrong. I wanted to make sure that, you know, we captured everything in the interview. And he came on a couple of years ago, JT. It was actually, I'm trying to think, it was episode 129 and 134. So we did two episodes and he spoke to us about how to sell your fitness business. So it was a super important topic. We'd never covered it before, but I definitely went into that interview with nerves um, and appreciation for, for having the opportunity to interview someone with Rick's experience. Okay. Now this question comes from Bill McBride. <laughs> Bill asks, who were you a little starstruck over? I think well, I, <laughs> who was I starstruck over? Well, yeah. since Bill asked the question, I need to put him at the top of the list. Don't no, I? no, no, <laughs> be honest. Who, who were you a little starstruck over? Okay, so this, this is an interesting one because there have been many over the years, I must say. Um, I, I would say probably someone that I never thought that I'd get the chance to interview and someone who in my early years in fitness as a trainer, as a PT, I used to see on social media and everything. So I kind of always was like, wow, this, this guy is amazing. Um, and that was Bedros Koulian. And so he was always someone who was, you know, I, I looked at and, and um, would watch his videos. So to then get the chance to interview him was kind of um, surreal. I, I definitely wasn't expecting that. And then the other person that I have to put in that starstruck category would definitely be Todd Durkin as well. Um, and again, I guess it's that, you know, you see people on social and there was just this unbelievable personality. And as a matter of fact, uh, we did Todd's interview live on Facebook, which made it kind of all that more exciting as well because there's just that fear factor that's involved in, in a live broadcast. So, yeah, I'd definitely say um, Bedros, who was uh, show 118, and Todd, who was actually show 100, uh, would be definitely up there as far as uh, Starstruck goes. Awesome. Okay. Now, who have you met... 
thanks to the show that perhaps you maybe never thought you would get to meet? Great question. Um, so I guess the ones that, and I can't just stick to one. I'm sorry, JT, I'm going to give you a few on this one. Uh, so a few people that would make this list, probably the top would be Randy Hetrick, uh, TRX creator. And for me, again, I this is all going back to when I started in the fitness industry, and I know like so many of our listeners, I mean, I started in this industry because I was passionate about fitness and I used to love rocking up and, and doing body pump and thinking, oh, I can, I can do that one day. And um, so for me, uh, using and getting trained on TRX way back in the day, uh, again, it was kind of a bit surreal to then have the opportunity to interview Randy, but then I got to meet him just over a year ago at the Athletic Business Show in New Orleans because he was the keynote speaker. So that was a really, really cool experience. So I definitely put him up there. Um, the other person that I would put up there, and again, it, I guess it's a bit of a personal passion of mine. Any of the uh, the listeners who have been with us for a while have probably heard me obsess a little bit about uh, going and hitting up a Barry's boot camp workout. Um, and JT, you and I did my first Barry's boot camp uh, in Santa Monica a couple of years ago. So you get credit for exposing me to Barry's. Um, but having the chance... Uh, hang on, hang on. I don't yeah. want to take any credit for exposing you to Barry. <laughs> that sounded bad, didn't it? Yeah, oh. we don't have to edit that bit out. Oh, then we definitely should edit that bit out. Or maybe not, maybe not. But um, no, but getting, you know, getting to meet or getting to interview first and then meet Joey Gonzalez, who's the CEO of Barry's, was super, super cool because I guess I just had so much admiration and love for that workout um, and loved doing it. And then as it happens, Barry's ended up opening in Australia, probably, I guess, 18 months ago now, around about that time. And Joey came over for the launch of um, one of the Sydney uh, businesses and so one of the Sydney Barry's. So that was super cool to get the chance to meet him. Awesome. Mm -hmm. All right. This question comes from the amazing Amanda Stevens, oh, who we've had on the show. Amanda. Her question is, who completely blew you away when you interviewed them? Oh, um, there, there's a lot of people that fall into this category for different reasons. So I'll try and, um, I guess, pick a couple. Uh, I would have to say someone who blew me away the first time I spoke to her and then we have been so lucky to have her on a few times and that's Casey Conrad. And Casey just has this incredible energy and generosity uh, in the information that she shares. I mean, she just absolutely doesn't hold back. And I guess she blew me away because of that, that incredible generosity. I mean, uh, the information that she's shared with us over the years has been so valuable. And I know that it will have helped so many fitness professionals and business owners out there that um, Casey is just, you know, I, I really feel in debt to her for what she's done to the show and the contribution that she's made to the show. So Casey, if you're watching, if you're listening, thank you so, so much for everything you have, uh, have contributed for us. Um, another, I'm going to give you two more, two more JT, if that's all right. Um, while well, I've got the microphone. So <laughs> another person that blew me away because of the impact that she had on me during the interview, but also the impact that she's made, uh, in, in her market and, and even beyond that market is, um, Carol Michaels. And Carol Michaels was the idea personal trainer of the year. I'm going to say in 2016, I think it was. And she has done incredible work when it comes to working with people that are, have gone through chemotherapy for cancer and have now started that recovery phase and even people that are still going through treatment. And she, the reason that I guess she had such an incredible effect on me is that she was a personal trainer in a local community like so many people are out there and she identified that there was a need for um, trainers to be able to work with cancer patients and people recovering from treatment and there wasn't anything that existed. 
and she took it upon herself to go about and to start to learn more and work with the medical community and start to create DVDs and programs and products that she could start helping those people. And to me, Carol is just that definition of what's possible in our industry and, and you don't have to be a big multi-million dollar brand to, to impact people's lives. So, um, Carol, if you're watching, congratulations on everything that, that you have done. And, um, and the third person that I would put into this category would actually be Jessica Matthews. Um, Jessica was with us in show 161. And the reason I think Jessica is so significant for our industry is I feel as though Jessica is the future of where the fitness industry is headed um, and where we need to be headed. And what I mean by that is Jessica works a lot with um, everything from the mindfulness um, and meditation and yoga side of the business right through to um, the medical side. So working out where fitness meets wellness and um, she does a lot of work with the university and, um, yeah, she's just doing incredible work for our industry. So, yeah, they're my three, Casey, Carol and Jessica. Awesome. Thank you. Now, it can't all be smooth sailing. <laughs> Who's been the hardest person to get on the show? Oh, this is so easy to answer, I've got to say. <laughs> it was definitely Joey Gonzalez from Barry's, who I mentioned earlier. I think, JT, that you probably put the initial call out like 12 months before we actually got the interview. And this, you know, sometimes it takes us weeks sometimes it takes us months but this one was particularly hard I think we were probably 20 to 30 emails deep by the time uh, we actually got this interview happening so yeah I, without a doubt Joey was the longest and the hardest to get but it was awesome getting him on the show eventually now this is a an auditory product <laughs> so <laughs> voice is really important who have you spoken to that you could just listen to hours and hours for because of their sweet dulcet tones? <laughs> when this person hears me answer this question, he's going to totally get this. Without a doubt, it is Mark Schaefer. Um, Mark Schaefer has been on the show twice before. He is an author and he just has the most amazing voice. It means that his audiobooks are an absolute joy to listen to. Uh, I, I love interviewing Mark. He, um, he's just, his delivery is flawless. His message is so important. Uh, he speaks on, on marketing and writes on marketing. Uh, so, yep, Mark Schaefer, 100%. Who do you think really challenges the thinking of how we run our fitness businesses? Who have you interviewed that's challenged us? So without doubt, the person that I would, I would answer or nominate for this one would be Francesca Schuller, who is the CEO of InShape Health Clubs. And I met Francesca probably just over a year ago now. And there's been so many things happen and, and that I've, heard her speak about and, and interviewed her on the show that really puts her into that category of, I guess, challenging the way that things have been done traditionally. And so I would start off by saying Francesca's actually come into fitness from another industry. And I think that's really significant because she has brought with her quite a different point of view and she really looks beyond, uh, I guess, our traditional businesses to how things should be done. Uh, one of the things that she said to me in an early interview, which uh, has always stuck with me, is about is thinking about the employees that we have within our business. And she said, how important it is that we hire a diverse range of employees because we have a diverse range of clients coming into the club. So therefore, you, you know, you might need someone who's male or female or young or old or has been through different life circumstances because you're going to have clients come in who maybe feel intimidated coming into our gyms for the very first time. If they come in and there's just, you know, someone on the, on the welcome desk that perhaps to them they can't relate to or perhaps they're walking into an environment that just 
isn't, it's out of their comfort zone. If you've got someone that they can talk to that's maybe part of your sales team or maybe one of your group fitness instructors, one of your sales managers, you know, diversity within our teams, within our employee teams is such an important part of running a fitness business. And I always think of that um, message that Francesca shared with me at that time. So uh, I might also add one other thing about that. And that is Francesca talked about how she brings in experts from different parts of the industry and outside of the industry to talk to her teams and and so they can learn from different people and I always think how closely that relates to what we do here on the show you know as you know JT like we make such an effort to make sure that we provide guests that are from within our industry so we can learn from their experience but also we try and step outside of that by bringing in authors and consultants and different coaches so that we can learn how other people in other industries are working as well so I think that's a really important factor. Great are you ready this is the last one. I'm ready I'm still ready. Now, this question comes from a number of people. Yeah. This, question comes, this question comes from Chris Stevenson, Sam Mutima, Luke Carlson, Bill McBride again, Amanda Stevens again. It also comes from Mark Schaefer. It comes from, uh, who is that? Oh, Justin Tamsett. I was going to say, um, <laughs> you've got to be up there. Who is the most competitive guest we've ever had on the show who always wants to know their download numbers? Okay, so since you use the word competitive, then I think these two probably fight it out. Those two people will be Casey Conrad and Bill McBride. I would have to put those two at the top of the list. Um, yeah, definitely those two at the top of the list. And Casey in particular will email us sometimes and go, how are my numbers going? How are my numbers going? And then we'll report back and then all of a sudden we see that she's reposted another show and shared another show. So I love that competitive nature of our guests. Well, thank you for giving us an insight with those nine questions on our guests that we've had on the show over the 260 shows, great insights. And uh, we'll put all the links to those shows wherever they have to be. You know what to do there. I'll take care of that. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent.